Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we have Swedish Midsummer Carnage by Hell Machine and this track is fire. I uh, am riding around on the 150 right now on the factory bike and this track is fast. Um, we haven't got a new track in a couple days so I figured I would go back again and find a track I haven't ridden before. So I found this one. Um, I think that if you do it on a 250 or a 450, you're going to kind of have problems. But the 150, the 125 work really well. I did try out the OEM 125 and it did not work as well because it just ain't powerful enough. So Now one thing I did like about this track was it has multiple... Um, ways you can go through it on um, the one section coming up after the finish line and I thought that was awesome I like how you can step on step off or you can go around the outside and just clear the tabletop it's a really small track so far my lap times when I run a good one has been a minute or less if you're better than me which most of you probably are you can run it I'd like to see somebody run it in like 50 seconds, you know what I'm saying? So, um, it would be possible, but really fast track, man, really fun, and I don't know, I had a blast on it. I can't believe I never heard of this track before, so I want to, um, try it out with the OEM 125s again. It just, they didn't have enough power for me, uh, after riding the factory 125s. They're built different, man. The factory 125s, the factory 150s, so much faster than the OEM ones, even after I messed with the gearing on them. So the front end on the factory bikes do slide out uh, quite frequently, I guess. So I started messing with the um, fork height and the swing arm length and stuff like that, and I was able to get it to where it was better than what it was normally. Um, other than that, this track is just fire. Uh, I'm going to see if I can't get into a few races on it or not. I think it'd be awesome to have some races on this track. So, Well, I got you here. Too, before we get too far into the video, uh, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you've played this track before or not. Um, I really dig it. So... I need to stop saying so so goddamn much. What the fuck? <laughs> um, also, my last video I posted ended up, I don't know what happened, but it ended up with like 250 likes and it had 900 and some views on the first day. If you watch that video and you're on this one, hit that subscribe button, man. I'm gonna keep coming out with these, so. So, there it is again. What the fuck? Nah, um... Yeah, the support has been awesome. And I'm gonna keep trying to make this stuff better. Keep trying to get better at the game. Keep trying to make the videos better. The thumbnails. Just trying to do a better job at this overall. If you got any suggestions for me, I'd appreciate it. Just leave it down below in the comments. And I'll see you... Uh, I'll see how I feel about it, you know what I mean? Constructive criticism is always good, so. Also, I was thinking <clears throat> if any of you guys have a track that you really liked that is an older track, um, I have officially figured out that there is a lot of tracks that I have never played in this game. If you leave them down in the comments, I will definitely check them out. Uh... I just, I like finding new tracks that I haven't ridden before and spending laps on them and making videos for you guys. Anything that you um, would think would be a awesome track that I would enjoy, just let me know and I'll give it a shot. Also, this, uh, this week coming up is going to be, I'm going to try to do one video every day. 
I've been doing my best on that, but between work and everything, I haven't been able to record as many videos as I would have liked to. Um, I've been pretty consistent. I did just miss yesterday, though. But other than that, I've been trying to be consistent. But next week, I'm going to try to make it to where I have a video every day. Anyway, enough about all that. Back to the track. Um, I really like how this track um, erodes. The erode is really nice. It doesn't get too deep to where you can't get out of it. You can actually, you know, pave your way for the line that you take often. Um, I love how just flowy it is in such a small space. And... I really am digging just the whole feel of it, you know what I mean? It's fast, it's got some nice sections to it. It's not the most technical track, um, but definitely a fun track, man. Uh, I'm sure that there's some spots on here that you could find if you want to hit transfers or do some big whips, anything like that. I usually don't get in and do free ride stuff like that because I'm not good enough at the game as it is. But if you are one of them people, I can definitely see some places where you could find some nice transfers. For sure. Also, um, I think my favorite part about this track is just it has slight elevation differences. You know, going uphill and hitting jumps downhill. And if you're on the 150 or the 125, it just flows so perfect. It really does. Oh, by the way, I know it's a little off topic. If you're watching this for MX Bikes, you probably don't give a shit. But I am going to start working on coming out with Madden videos, mainly Ultimate Team. Because that's what I play is Ultimate Team. Um, I just don't know whether I should do gameplay videos or just talk about how to make coins or get your team. Um, probably do a combination of everything. But I have been playing that a lot. Also, me and my friends have been playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, so I'm going to try to incorporate that into the channel a little bit as well. I'm not the best at that, so I think I'm going to have to take my friend's advice and be more of a funny, like, mistakes, like, type of videos, but that's going to do it for me today, guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.